Unit 3. Today I will talk about the heart. The heart. Okay? You have to know that the heart is the strongest organ in our body. Our heart is the strongest organ in our body. The heart is the strongest organ in our body. And it's a muscular organ. And it's a muscular organ. What is the meaning of muscular organ? This means that our heart has muscle. So it's a muscular organ. Okay? In the size of the fist. In the size of the fist. Okay? Anyone the size of his or her heart like the size of the fist. Okay? Where is the heart in our body? Our heart lies behind the ribs. We have bones here, the blue bones here called ribs. Okay? And you see the heart behind the ribs. Behind the ribs, between the two lungs. Okay? Between the two lungs. Look at this picture. You will see that the heart behind the ribs and between two lungs. Between two lungs, between two lungs, okay, junior three? After that, you, you, will, uh, you will see that your heart slightly to the left, partly to the left. So, you have to know that the heart is the strongest organ in our body, and it's a muscular organ. In the size of the fist, and the heart lies behind the rest, between the two lungs, between the two lungs. And you have to know that our heart is divided into two sides. Divided into two sides. After that, the main function or the main importance of the heart is that it pumps the blood to all the body parts. The heart pumps the blood to all the body parts. Okay? The heart make the heart make two movements, okay? Like this picture, expand and contract. Expand and contract. Look at this figure and you see the heart expand and contract. Expand means the size become bigger. Contract the size will be smaller. Okay? The heart expand and contract. Expand and contract to bond the blood to all the body. Okay, junior three? Again, the main function of the heart is that pump the blood to all the body. Pump the blood to all the body. So, the heart makes two movements together. Okay, expand and contract. Expand and contract. Expand, become bigger. Okay, when it's filled with the blood. Okay, the heart expands. This means the, the heart filled with blood. When the heart contracts, this means that the heart starts pushing the blood. Okay? The heart expands and contracts like this picture. Now, you can see this picture to understand what it means by the heart expands and contracts. I said expand means that the size becomes bigger, contract the size becomes smaller. Okay? The heart expands when it's filled with the blood. But contract when the heart bush starts pushing the blood. After that, I said that our heart is divided into two sides. Okay? As you see, the two sides, we have red blood and blue blood. Red blood and blue blood. Okay? The red blood, okay? The red blood, this means that filled with oxygen. Filled with oxygen. Oxygen. So we can say oxygenated blood. Repeat after me. Blood filled with oxygen means oxygenated blood or the red blood. But the blue blood which is filled with carbon dioxide. Filled with carbon dioxide. So it means the oxygenated blood. Repeat after me. The oxygenated blood. So, the oxygenated blood filled with oxygen. The oxygenated blood filled with carbon dioxide. Now, I will talk about the path of the blood through the heart. Or, the, or, or we can say 
the movement of the blood inside our body. The movement of the blood inside our body. Okay? And you know that heart pumps the blood to all the body parts. The heart pumps the blood to all the body parts. Okay? When, uh, junior three, when we breathe, when we breathe in, we take the oxygen, the oxygen go from nose to our lungs. Okay? When the oxygen mix with the blood, it will be oxygenated blood. Okay, junior three? When we breathe in, the air or the oxygen go from the nose to our heart. Uh, to our lungs, okay? When the heart, when the blood is mixed with oxygen, so it will be oxygenated blood, okay? So our lungs now have oxygenated blood. The heart do what? Expand. The heart, number one, step number one, the heart expands. Expand means what? Carrying oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart. So now the oxygenated blood reach to the heart, reach to the heart. So, the heart filled with oxygen. So, the heart now, step number two, needs to bumping or pushing the blood to all body parts, to all the body parts. So, when we breathe in, the air or the oxygen go from nose to our lungs. Now, it will be oxygenated blood. The heart do what? Expand, carrying the oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart. So the oxygenated blood now reach to the heart. So the heart do what? Number two, step number two, contract, pushing the blood to all the body parts. Okay? So the oxygenated blood now reach to all body parts. At the same time, we have deoxygenated blood. At the same time, we have deoxygenated blood. Okay? Deoxygenated blood, this deoxygenated blood, our body parts need to get rid of this deoxygenated blood. So what will happen? Num n step number three, at the same time, the heart expands, carrying the deoxygenated, the deoxygenated blood from all body parts to the heart, okay? The heart do what? Expand, carrying the deoxygenated blood from all body parts to the heart, okay? After that, the last step, okay, number four, the heart contract, bumping this deoxygenated blood to the lungs. Then our lungs responsible to get rid of this deoxygenated or, oxygen, uh, or carbon dioxide out of the body. Again, junior four. Again, junior three. Our heart divided into two sides, okay? The, the, the first side contains red blood, which is oxygenated blood, but the, the second side contains deoxygenated, deoxygenated blood, which contains carbon dioxide, or the blue blood. First, step number one, <clears throat> our heart expands carrying the oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart. Okay? Now, the heart contains oxygenated blood. The heart contains oxygenated blood. So, number two, contract to bump the blood to all body parts. At the same time, all body parts need to get rid of the deoxygenated blood which contains carbon dioxide. So the heart expands, carrying the deoxygenated blood from all body parts to the heart. Then, the last step, our heart contracts, bumping this deoxygenated, deoxygenated blood to the lungs. And our lungs responsible to get rid of this carbon dioxide out of the body. Okay, junior three. Now let's solve evaluation. Right or wrong? Put right or wrong? The heart is divided into three sides. Wrong. The heart contracts 
when it's filled with blood, wrong. Number three, the heart is the strongest organ in our body, right. The blue blood is filled with oxygen, wrong. The heart lies between the ribs, no, behind the ribs. Number six, the last one, the heart is a muscular organ, right. Okay, you have to solve worksheet number five in the weekend sheet. It's your home.